It's time for this. Jen's Regional Roundup. Oh, I love this part of the show. It's where we go to one of our regional correspondents around the country and we are going to the Midlands. Sarah Jane Foster is standing by. Good morning. Good morning, Jen. How are you? I'm good. All the better for talking to you, my dear. How's life? <laughs> yeah, so good. Flying now, thank God. Flying it. We're all getting out and about a bit more, aren't we? <laughs> yeah. Big it's good. It's good. Um, I believe you want to start with a tale of heartbreak. Yeah, oh my goodness. I'm an absolute huge fan of Maura Higgins and she released a statement yesterday that she has broken up with her boyfriend, Chris Taylor. I'm absolutely devastated for her. I mean, it's good news for the guys, but bad news for Maura. I was I was listening to Tracy Clifford yesterday and Tracy was all over this as well. She was devo. I was like, yeah. why are people so devastated by... And why are they so shocked that two uh, 20-something-year-old people uh, broke up after a few months? Like, it's no shock to me, but why is it a shock to everybody else? I don't know. I think everybody was just rooting for Maura and Chris. Like, they seemed to have gotten along so well. Everybody knew that they were good pals before they actually got into a relationship. They took together. a lovely so- picture. Yes, exactly. There you go. <laughs> so what's she going to do now? Bless her. Well, I Is there a Tinder for celebrities or something? Or what, what's the solution here now for her? She wants to meet someone. Even better than Tinder for celebrities. So I was thinking SJF and Jay-Z have the solution. Go on. We could take her to the Westmead Bachelor Festival, which, ha- which is happening next summer, June Bank Holiday weekend. Now, I know she's a while to wait, but I mean, I think we could organise it. <laughs> Sorry, back up the truck there for a second. There's a bachelor <laughs> festival. Yeah. Is, oh it my la- God. is it only lads from Westmead or lads from around the country will gather in Westmead? Lads from around anywhere, like from around the country, anywhere you want to be from. It's like you can apply and, you know, the girls can be the chaperone. It's a three day festival. It's basically going to mimic the Rose of Tralee, but it's for fellas. Stop it. This sounds yeah, amazing. Why haven't we done this before? I know. it's go- You're going to have to come to it as well. Maybe you I, can be like a judge on it. Listen, we've already booked the roadcaster. We're there. <laughs> and uh, judge, I'm available. I don't even know when it is, but I love the sound of this. First of all, it sounds like great crack. Um, I, and I don't think it's been done before. So do you know when it's happening? Yeah, so it's the June Bank June Holiday. June Bank Holiday, 2022 sorry. 2022 now. 2022. Um, yeah, so Stick look, it in the diary. So, yes. um, can young ones looking for a just head down there and take their pick, like at a cattle market or something? 100%. Well, now Amazing. Listen, we're a lot more glam than that now in Mullingar, Jen. You're going to have to experience this for yourself. Okay. We have so much to offer down here. You know, great pubs, great bars, restaurants, everything. You would love it. it. It sounds unreal. It's in the calendar already now. June Bank Holiday, the Bachelor Festival down in Westmeath. Come on, let's do yes. it. Uh, it's all happening down there. What else is, is going on in 2022? So 2022, we're literally just after getting the best news ever. We have all been waiting for this in Mullingar. Um, the Flak Yule is coming back to Mullingar in 2022. We are Great. so excited for this. And I believe um, that you have secured a, an audio clip, a, a very exclusive audio <laughs> clip. Let's have a listen. Uh, do you want to explain who it is? It's it's Mick Foster, I believe, of Foster and Allen fame. Is that right? Yes, exactly. Hang so on now. Fast. Let me play the clip okay. and you can tell the connection now. Here he is. This is Mick Foster from Foster and Allen. And we are so delighted that we've just heard that the all Iron and Flag Hall is coming back to Mullingar in 2022. Qualtas Gjolter Aaron was formed in Mullingar in 1951. We had the All Ireland Flag Hall here in 1963, and we haven't had it since. So we're over the moon that uh, it's it's back to where it began in 2022. Go on, Mick. <laughs> now, how do you know, Mick? So Mick Foster from Foster and Allen is actually my granddad. So I got him to Stop do that clip for us, especially for RT Two FM. Listen, um, I might be a mistake. I, I, I think, I think I met your granddad. 
Yeah, you did. We Like he said, he had the best crack ever filming Republic of Telly with you back a couple of years ago. And it was such a funny show. Like we loved it. It was hilarious. Yeah, yeah, I met your friend. I've got his guest. <laughs> oh, listen, it's, <laughs> Ireland is just too small. Uh, what an absolute legend. He sounds delighted. So that's back and I'm sure everybody, um, everybody in the country would be delighted that's back. That is amazing crack, yeah, that one. Yeah, you'll have to come to it. Like, yeah, like even if you're not into trad music, it's always so What? Sorry, event. who... Sorry. Yeah. You're going to have to come down. Everybody's into trad music. Even yes, agree, even if you're a dub. I was just covering myself because you don't know what the dubs are like. You never know. No, Sarah J, I'm telling you, even, I mean, even dubs, I would say even more so, they love the trad. They love the old trad music. Oh, no, definitely. They it's do. They love it. Um, now, I heard uh, you bumped into your old teacher recently. What happened there? Yeah, so look, as we've been all getting out and about a lot more lately, you know, you're bumping into people that you haven't seen in a long time. And I actually bumped into my primary school football manager from Shandona GAA. And it just brought up so many memories of like the confidence and encouragement he gave me as a child. And I've carried that right through to my adult life. And it serves me really, really well to this day. And I just couldn't help think of, of this when I was speaking to him in the shop. And, you know, I got home and I was telling my dad, I was like, Do you know what, I was like, he gave me so much confidence when I was playing football and it just, it was instilled in me like for my whole life. And my dad was like, and did you tell him? I was like, well, I wasn't going to tell him in the shop, but uh, so look, Roy Smith from Shandona GEA, if you're listening to this, uh, thanks very much for everything. Oh, what's his name? Roy Smith? Yeah, Roy Smith. Roy Smith. Yeah, brilliant Uh, manager. It's funny you say that because we had a similar story recently, a lady called uh, Jackie from Limerick who actually wrote to her old teacher uh, yeah. just telling tell her about the impact she had on yeah. her life. And it's so Big nice time. to hear you say it as well. And we and we were flooded with texts and messages from people just oh, um, talking about these teachers that had a huge impact. So when you think of school, do you always think of that teacher who gave you, instilled that confidence in you? Oh, yeah, big time. Like, And I think it's the little things like that in life because you'll always remember how somebody made you feel. Like you very rarely remember like, I don't know, things that they bought you. Yeah. or But the way people make you feel is definitely something that sticks with you for your whole entire life. And everybody has somebody like that in their life that they think, you know, they think back of all the good memories and, you know, something that they've instilled in them that they've carried through for their whole life. And, um, yeah, I think Roy Smith was just uh, one of those people that um, happened to be very... Uh, encouraging in my life and it was just when I met him the other day I was kind of like you know just brought up all of that yeah (laughs) Yeah, totally well Roy Smith you're an absolute legend and it's great um, to hear about all the good work you've done Uh, but what kind of recognition is there for people like your old manager you know the the unsung heroes that that just keep it all going yeah, so there's the Cahir Look Awards here in um, Westmead. It's run by the Westmead County Council. So basically it's for volunteer, voluntary community groups. Um, they're nominated for their hard work that they contribute to the community. So say, for example, they raise funds to get a playground in their area. Um, they keep their community tidy. And look, it keeps everyone's morale up, you know, especially during the, these times. But we're actually having the award ceremony online this year. And look, it just keeps people motivated and encourages, encourages them to be, you know, bigger and better. Very good. Listen, it's all happening in the Midlands. Uh, Sarah Jane Foster, thanks a million for giving thanks us uh, so the lowdown. I'll talk to you soon, love, OK? Talk soon, Jennifer. Bye, 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 bye.